And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part two of our Gangplank's Fate Road to Masters. Uh, we are going to go ahead and play another five game set here. Currently three and two. Okay, so, you know, winning record. That's good. That's That will get us there. We are now at, at uh, Diamond 1, so we're one step away, but we're at zero LP, so that means we need five more wins before Masters Ring. So let's get to it. Y'all probably know this deck by now. I've been playing it so much recently. It's nice and consistent. That's what we've been uh, learning about our deck. Um, let's, let's keep it going. So here we go. We'll start five more games. Yeah, we, we got like a Try Hard Monday today. Trying to get to Masters with the Seasonal Tournament at the end of the week. Want to try to get in that top 700. Okay, we have Aurelia Azir. This is a, an important Make It Rain and Twisted Fate matchup. Twisted Fate, good. The Bliss is definitely gone. We gotta find something for 1 and 2 rounds, 1 and 2, but Sentry Flock combo and Twisted Fate are good. Okay, good. This will work out just fine. So we'll have uh, the spell mana being saved on round one for the flock. And then we'll go Grenadier here. Not attacking to trade because red card kills Seeker. Wasn't the best use of sentry. We'll keep them from attacking, getting all these sand soldiers. Spin around, throw it down. Sure about that. Okay, red card away those things. I'm pretty sure I chose red card. I thought I chose red card. Okay, yeah, I did. This is just a, vis a visual bug of blue card just chilling there. Something for all. <laughs> it's just gonna, is it just gonna be there the rest of the game? Oh man, I hope not. I'm surprised they didn't play Waking Sands to block and just were willing to take all that damage. Come on, Mega Rain. Good. All right, so we can Mega Rain plus Flock to kill this Aurelia. So this is going to be. Kind of rough, the blue card just being in the way. I'm expecting them to play something else that could also make it rain, but this could definitely be too greedy of me. Okay, they're just going that thing. Oh, I should have done the Make It Rain in response to that, so that then I could flock. They will be able to level up Aurelia. Oh man, I should... I messed that up. Oh no, 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 because it's only four. Okay, okay. Okay. So this is... This thing gets flocked. No blockers. Taking nine. Then open attack for 10. I, was gonna get in my way. I like the second gangplank. Okay, so like if they would have had a, a bounce spell, would have been able to like play second gangplank and then it was in um, the parlay. Oh, karma as. All right, we got control. Karma is. This is gone. This is gone. Well, Grenadier into Ballista. No, I never even. I didn't even do the gauntlet. Honestly, I didn't try the gauntlet. I I didn't realize the last chance gauntlet was up until it was too late. So, we're gonna be trying to get into the top 700, which is how I've qualified. I've qualified for every seasonal tournament so far, but it's always been top 700. Ah, 
it's a good fallen feline to match up against my leech and grenadier. Works out pretty well for them. Time for a true display of skill. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. <laughs> So I think so that probably means they have static shock. I was hoping that they were gonna shoot the grenadier, honestly. Then that would, you know, help out with. I guess I could also make it rain. I'm always up to Save this for a blue card. I mean, all I'm doing is just the same thing make it rain does. This could be a mistake. Death Ray. Interesting. Firing. So they're gonna have MK2 and MK3. Those are gonna be good cards against me. But they will kind of take up their draw steps. The, what, I'm, what I'm thinking about here is I could, like, you know, next round go, like, Gangplank, make it rain 2 damage. We have to assume that they have the MK2 by now. We both have six cards, basically. Victory at any cost. They've had a very good hand. Two cards up. Never lost a fair game or played one. Eyes open. Okay, so an Ezreal would be leveled up. Like crystal. Gross. Nothing like a stink of blood and sweat. Well, I mean, I gotta get the hexite crystal out of their hand. So what's kind of taken for it to, to beat us is just abnormally good hands. The ocean are self Please don't have Thermo. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking they were going to have Thermo. Gross. Really good hand. Alright, so four and three is the likelihood. Reek 
reconsider. Gross. Worst, worst card in the deck to draw. Alright, four and three. Viego. Don't love playing against Viego. It's a, it can be a difficult card to kill. Yeah, we can get rid of the Maker Rain. It. Gangplank. I'm keeping Twist of Fate. I'm keeping Rear Guard. Gangplank. I'm not sure about. I think I'll send Gangplank back, but I don't know. Gang, Gangplank's quite good. All right, but there's a one, two, three, four. Uh, hopefully, Maker Rain's good. But. We'll always take as many Twisted Fates as we can, and Legion Rear Guard on one is perfect. Pass back. Yeah. Okay. That's a good Mega Rain. That worked out. I'd say that worked out pretty well. So they could play the 3-3 the three, three that puts the 1-1 one, one into play. Yeah, that card. That was the worst case scenario. Or could have just attacked and gotten 3 damage in. But at least that thing's out of here for any kind of shenanigans, like Chronicler of Ruin or whatever. And another one. So I'm going to go Ballista. Probably Ballista open attack, I guess. Man, I really hope they don't have Viego. Better not be Viego. Okay, that's good. Not Viego. I will take not Viego. Gotta go with the flow. Never lost a fair game. Who says I don't close to leveling that thing up? Is that five? That's five. Leveled up Gangplank. It's not bad. So the, I don't care about the five damage to me. Whether I'm at 13 or 18, either one's fine. It's do I, do I use a flock to keep them at 14 instead of them at 19? Do I use a card for that? I was hoping that they were going to use, like they're just ju they're just attacking here. I was hoping that they were going to use the three mana card and try to get rid of the ephemeral and then we would have flocked and, you know, that would have been nice. Yeah, that's probably worth a five damage spell. That's probably worth five damage. But now if they use like the, the three mana card to make it ephemeral, I'll be sad. I think the elusive is more valuable. Like we're we don't level up to a fate in this deck. I think the elusive is more valuable if we're gonna play that on something. And plus having a dead twisted fate means we get to play new twisted fates. That's always good. Death mark, that's the name of that card. Alright, gotta hope no vengeance, no ruination.
so there's the death mark. It wasn't the, you know, like, it wasn't the best thing for me, but the good news is there, you know, like, we have, like, the same number of cards, but then we also have these two things in play. That's a card. The whole world will know my anguish. through the trees. The dark beckons. All right, so this is going to give them... It gives them the plus one, plus one on the Viego. Surrender to me. The waters give you life, child. No. No, 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 no. Cowards! Oh, did not want that to happen. Alright, oh, we only got two cards. So I wanted I wanted the powder the free powder keg for Um, you know, for the five damage here, but so we'll have to play the dreadway first. Okay, so they just get the two cards of their drawing. This this is game. Because they're out of mana. That worked out. Alright. Five and three. I'll just be lethal there. Okay. Back to 20 LP. Siver Action Z. These are always tough matchups. It's just a very good deck. I like the hand. I'm going to keep it. The Flock is the card that I could see sending back, but I feel like Flock's going to be an important card to have. Obviously, love these th first three. I like how Mega Rain can bust up Silver Spell Shield. We want, like, Twisted Fate, as always. Twisted Fate, Spray Fin. Tough, Twisted Fate. Where's my axe? Um, they may be considering which, you yeah, which one mana two one to play. All right, well I will pass. D for two. <laughs> Go get the shiny dog. All right, that looks like a good make a rain. Got a twin disciplines out of their hand. Okay. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. All right, so I'm gonna wait till next round in red card. I can just do that. I don't want to be too aggressive. I don't think. I don't really want to see Sivir. Okay. Got a shape sound out of hand. So both the Maker Rain and the Twisted Fate were two for ones. So they're down to not very many cards. What I'm worried about, I, I would like to play Gangplank, but what I'm worried about playing Gangplank is they play the 5-2 blocker. I could open attack with just the three power units. So Twisted Fate already has Vulnerable anyway. I think I was swinging in with everything. Okay, well I'm glad I swung in with everything. I 
do not break rules, I bend them. Slightly. There's plenty of killing left. Just need a second. This extra flock not looking so good. We're kind of back to even. They just use, yeah, they just use like waking sands and action with like these vulnerables. They're making us back to even. I know what I'm worth. This is justice. You're at 11. Was of course planning on open attacking, but now that we have this to get rid of a blocker. Block, block, take 9, 10, 11, 10, they can take 10, but all their stuff's dead. 11, they take 11. Okay, so I need I need all the threes first. Yeah, I'm gonna take eleven. That's all. Great and dumb. Don't you need to block the other way around? I mean, nothing personal. Here's your cut. I can still stay alive. Ooh, okay. Down to eleven. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. If they have ghost, I lose? How? I mean that it's six with ghost right now. They have to have like ghost plus pump spell. But yeah, they have that I lose. I am I'm definitely getting rid of this powder keg so that they're not able to challenge it. Best draw is make it rain. Here we go, let's draw make it rain. Make it rain. Close. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. War Mason, reporting for duty. What is it for you? I don't know if this is too shameful. There we go, because that's a win. All right, six and three. Oh, getting playing Sejuani. Always a tough matchup. Always a tough matchup. We want to be aggressive. We have the attack token, one, three, five. So we have Butcher, Ballista... Gangplank on 135. Sentry to slow down a Sejuani or Gangplank later. That's a, that's quite a bit later. I'll just go and send you back. But I'll keep the Gangplank to have that thing attack on 5. Not the, not the two best draws so far. You poor thing. Not the two best with what we kept. Yay! They didn't get to attack there. That's great news. Alright, so that's their first out of five for their champions. I was wondering if they are going to harpoon that. Wow. Wow. Sometimes you just have the luck. Two mana, you get a 2-2 two, two, and a 3-3 three, three for two mana. Does that sound fair? Uh, 
yeah, this is this is a mid-range deck. This is not a we're not a control deck. We we have a lot of very aggressive starts. We're this is kind of a classic mid-range deck. Red card, gold card. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Shame you'll die for it. Yeah, it's harpoon. So they're thinking about playing that harpoon earlier. They were considering it. Who's that you got there? No. For silver, I thought. Oh. Should have done the. They should have targeted the three three. Okay, get all those. Holding down the fort fairly well, but they haven't played their champions yet, right? So like once they start playing their champions, then that's trouble. The flock's probably more valuable than that twisted fate. Sprayfin's awesome. Alright, so the Sprayfin, that's what the Sprayfin drew was warning shot. All the glitters. Looks like trouble. If they don't have any champions, we have a chance. We want to draw our 8 mana card. 8 mana card. Not 8 mana card. Carved from the savage cold. That's champion. These are not things that I wanted. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Really? I don't want to flock their Sejuani and let them know that their Sejuani can potentially die. Keep up, keep up. Strike at their foundations. Show them our teeth. Because, yeah, I want them blocking like that. Yeah. Alright, we even got through one champion. We gotta really hope no more. Gotta really hope no more champions. Merchants, my cards are amazing. Stop. Oh man, my cards are so good. Just stop nab stop nabbing my awesome cards. Well that really did not work out holding that. That really did not work out. Card to draw. Dang, that really didn't work out. I thought we had that. 
but clutch double black market merchant for the last two cards and those black market merchants really hit some awesome cards zero mana um that zero mana three three they hit early was pretty insane all right so there we go that's that's gangplank's fade and they stole they kept they stole two spray fin no just one spray fin they stole they stole one spray fin that's that's amazing amazing card that's the second best card to steal besides dreadway all right so three and two again I guess so six and four so you know like we'll you know keep on keep on getting up there um man I thought we had that last one I thought we did but it didn't didn't work out um anyway those y'all watching later on YouTube hit that like button and leave those comments let me know uh you know how have you how you've been enjoying this deck hopefully you've been enjoying the the ride here as we try to keep climbing to a master's rank so got to keep getting those positive records so you know three two three two let's let's keep it going so we're four wins away all right, as always, though, uh, thank you so much for watching part two of our Gangplank's Fate Road to Masters, and I'll see you for the next video.